So guys, in the last video, we talked about the F-Series engine's water pump. And in this video, we're going to talk about the EJ-Series engine water pumps and how there are, as far as I've found, at least 10 different variations of water pump for the EJ-Series engine. You know, the engine that's been around for so long, or had been, uh, until it just now discontinued, and uh, people think are basically all identical. 10 different water pumps. Did you know there were that many different water pumps for this engine series? With that said, let's go ahead and dive into it. So guys, as you can see here on the top of my toolbox, I have five different Subaru water pumps. Of uh, the 10s only have about half of the ones that are floating around out there for the EJ series engine. Now, a lot of people have asked questions on my ice and water pump video, which I'll link up in the corner, about which kit to pick for their particular EJ powered car. Now, with single overhead cam engines, there's several different kits, and the main factor in the difference of those kits is the water pump. The belt, the idlers, and the tensioner are all the same. The water pump is the big deciding factor, and it usually comes down to two main things. Where the thermostat is located on the pump, either at the bottom of the pump or the front of the pump, and how many barbs come off the pump, whether it be one, two, or three barbs. That's your main difference. Those timing belt kits from Ison, a lot of the different variations are only the water pump. So some of the kits, I can't recall part numbers off the top of my head, have been difficult for you to get. I think Ison uh, keeps low stock of some of them that are oddballs or they have discontinued them. So you might need to buy a kit and then a water pump to complete the job, or you might just need to piece together a kit for your particular vehicle. One that comes to mind is the 2006 Forester with automatic transmission. That car has a water pump all to itself. So if you have a 2006 Forester with an automatic transmission, you probably cannot find an icing kit that works due to that water pump being an oddball specific to that one vehicle. So aside from that pump, most of the other Subaru water pumps here cover more than one year model and one model of vehicle. So let's go ahead and go through the breakdown of all 10 part numbers, their description, and what vehicles you can find them on. Again, I only have half of them here. So for the five I do not have, I'll put pictures up on the screen. So guys, before we get into this, 10 different water pumps I have researched as much as I can trying to give you the most accurate information possible. If I get anything wrong, or if you have questions, leave it in the comments. I'm trying to be as factually correct as I can. So with Subaru water pump part numbers, they all start with 21111AA, and then there's three digits that are the differentiation. So we're gonna start with the 110, which is two, four ones, two A's, one, one, zero. And this pump is a Subaru genuine pump made by Yotec. It has a thermostat on the bottom and one barb on the right side of the pump. This was primarily found on EJ22s, EJ25Ds, EJ251s, and some very early EJ253s. This covers a lot of of different models, so I'm not gonna list every single one of them. And this one features on the back side an open impeller. That's another variation I didn't talk about earlier about the difference between the water pumps on Subarus. Some have these open impellers and some have a cast closed impeller. And some pumps are identical aside for the impellers and we'll talk about that as we get to them. Now moving on, we'll talk about a water pump I don't currently have to show you. And that is a 007, or a 21111AA007, found on EJ22Es, EJ18s, and EJ25Ds, 1989, the 2002 select models, and on manual transmission, Foresters. 
It has one barb to the right of the pump, and the thermostat is in the down position. But on the back side, we have a closed cast impeller. I'll put some pictures on the screen for the ones I do not have on hand. But basically, it's the same pump as I have right here, just with the different impeller. Moving on, our next pump is the 21111AA230. Now that pump as well is very similar to this pump. One barb on the right, thermostat in the downward position. The difference is it has a second barb here in the front of the pump facing straight out. I'll put pictures on the screen of that. That was found in 2003 to 2005 Foresters with automatic transmission. Also on the back side, it had a closed impeller. Now, a lot of times with the barb on the left side of the pump or like this one on the front side of the pump, that is due to that vehicle's engine having an oil cooler and it needs to provide coolant to a hose, to a coolant crossover pipe on the front of the engine over to that oil cooler. Now, some Foresters, with the EJ251, had this pump in them with their oil cooler, but instead had a different thermostat housing that had a barb off of the thermostat housing going over to feed that oil cooler. I'll put a picture up of that on the screen now. Moving on to our next pump. This is a Subaru Genuine pump and it was manufactured by Yamada. Part number for this pump is 21111AA320, and this should look familiar to most of you viewers as we recently replaced one of these pumps on a 2010 Outback just a few videos ago. Now this pump is different from the ones we've talked about previously because now we have the thermostat on the front rather than on the bottom of the pump, and we have one barb on the right side of the pump. When we look at our impeller, it is an open style rather than a closed cast style impeller. Now this pump was found on 2010 to 2012 EJ253s in the Outback and Legacy. Moving on to our next pump. This is a really oddball, really specific pump. Part number is 21111AA290. And it looks very similar to this pump. I'll put some pictures up. But we've got one barb on the right and one barb on the left opposed from each other. Thermostat on the front. And we've got the open impeller design on the back. Now this is that pump that will screw you up if you're looking for a timing belt water pump kit for your vehicle because it is specific to one model, one year, and one option, which is a 2006 Forester EJ253 automatic transmission. That is the only usage for that pump, a 2006 Forester naturally aspirated automatic transmission. It is a needle in a haystack to find in a kit so most likely you're gonna have to buy the pump standalone and buy your components as well, rather than a time belt water pump kit. Up next, our pump is one of two different part numbers, but nearly indistinguishable from each other. This is a Subaru Genuine pump made by Yamada. Now we have two barbs on the right-hand side, our thermostat still on the front, and on the back side we've got that open impeller design. The part number for this pump is 21111AA250, found on EJ255s, 2008 to 2014 WRX and 2008 to 2013 Forrester XTs. Moving on to that second pump that looks near indistinguishable from this pump. The only big difference is the fact when you look at the back, it's got that cast closed impeller on it is the part number 21111AA065. And this pump is for the EJ22T found in the 1991 to 1994 Legacy Turbo models. Now this is a high flow pump. Now you can interchange these two pumps with each other. They'll physically bolt on and they have the barbs in the right place, but that EJ22T, the 065, is a high flow version of the 250. Moving on to our next two water pumps, they're basically indistinguishable from each other, other than their impeller. We've got three barbs, two on the right side and one on the left. We have our thermostat on the front. This particular one is a Yamada pump. This one 
just is stamped Fuji Japan. Now, the big difference is the back sides of these pumps. This one has an open impeller. This one has the closed impeller design. Now, this one here on the right with the open impeller, that is a model number 21111AA240, found on the EJ257 for the STI, found on 255s in select WRXs, Legacy GTs, Forrester XTs, and Outback XTs. The pump on the left is a 21111AA026, found on the EJ205 and EJ22E. Found on 91 Subaru Legacies and found on 2002 to 2003, some 2004 WRXs. I say that because everything I found said it was only for 02 and 03 WRXs, but this pump came off of my 2004 WRX. So somewhere in the interim, there was a shift between these two pumps. And again, the difference is this cast impeller and the open impeller. Moving on to our last pump, it's a real oddball in terms of looks compared to the others. It'll physically bolt up where all the other pumps will bolt up, but it has a very specific application. And that is pump part number 21111AA380, found on 2010 to 2005 EJ255 Legacy GTs. Now this is the last of the Legacy GT255s that had the front lower mounted turbocharger. I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't realize that the front slung low turbo actually started on the EJ series engines, not on the FA engines. Now this pump is different as it has two barbs on the right side of the pump. One of them is a big J looking hooked barb and then on the left side, there is a flat mounting surface for a nipple with an O-ring to go in with a flange and a bolt to hold it into place just due to the fact of where the turbocharger is located. This pump also has a different thermostat housing than the rest, but the thermostat is still on the front of the pump. This pump also has an open impeller design. So guys, a good general rule of thumb when looking at these pumps, the larger barb on the right hand side is going to be feeding your water pipe that feeds part of the heater core. If you have a barb on the left, it's normally feeding an oil cooler. And your top barb on the right is normally feeding your turbocharger. So there you have it guys, 10 different EJ series Subaru engine water pumps with description and part number. Hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully those of you seeking it out found what you're looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video.